Hi, I'm Evan Margolis, and this is a video uh, to provide just some quick tips on how to pass the fundamentals of engineering exam. This may not work for every type of engineering discipline. Uh, I'm an electrical engineer, and I took the FE in electrical and computer. I recently passed, um, and this method worked for me. It may not work for everybody. Everybody, you know, beats to their own drum. Get these practice exams, as many practice exams as you can get your hands on. Whatever it takes, grab them, study them. It'll give you a good understanding, a rough kind of understanding of what the exam is about. But that will not make you pass. You need to also get the Wasim testing book. This has all the questions for every part of the FA, and it goes in depth. It goes from easy questions to very difficult questions. I must have gone through this book four or five times, maybe six times. This was my lifeline. Uh, anytime I had any issues or if I had, you know, if I had a specific subject I wasn't good in, I would just do the problems in this over and over and over again, watch YouTube videos, whatever it took. Another thing is the TI-36X Pro. This calculator is the best calculator you can use for the exam, in my humble opinion. I love this calculator. This will get you through at least 50 to 60% of the exam. You will be able to answer most of the questions with this calculator. Just learn how to use it. Learn how to do matrices, vectors, integrals, differentiation, you know, trigonometric questions. It really has stats. It really has everything in it. Um, for a majority of the exam, you can even do digital logic in here. It really will help you in a myriad of ways. Um, learn how to use the calculator. That's, that's really, really important. And the reference manual. Get accustomed to the reference manual. Read it through, you know, understand what's in it understand how to use it to your advantage because a huge part of the exam is just understanding the reference manual, how to access information when you're given a question, where is it in the reference manual, where are the equations, how to find them is really very important. Just also persevere, work hard, really take the time. This is a very rigorous exam. I know that a lot of people live busy lives and it's tough to find the time to study, but you really need to sacrifice for this exam. You need to push your personal life aside and say, okay, I'm dedicating a year or six months to a year to this exam. I'm going to sacrifice. Um, that's just what works for me. Some people, they say they can just, you know, study the week before and pass. I've seen it a few times, it's very, very rare. For me, I had to sacrifice and I really had to put in the time. Some people, hard for them to focus, their attention span is low, do a prep course. That's also a very good way to pass. You can take any of them. School of PE I hear is a good one. PPI to pass I've heard has a great, great prep course. Those are also ways to, to help you pass, especially if life gets in the way and you can't find the discipline or the, the time to, to, to sit there and study, this will help you um, stay on track. Um, you know, and believe in yourself and understand that you may not pass the first time. I've heard it's very rare people pass the first time. It takes about two or three uh, trials. That's perfectly fine. This is a very, very tough exam and don't forget that. Don't forget that you are uh, an, an electrical or whatever discipline engineer. Um, and it's that, that in and of itself is an achievement. So just remember that um, and and you'll you'll pass. You know, also reach out to the people that you know that have passed and ask them for their advice, you know, and see what they say. Um, good luck. And uh, I hope this video helped you.